Hi guys, it's Jilly Hunt here and welcome to my Bonanza Buddies little tiny happy birthday cards, congratulation cards, little invites, whatever you like them for. Um, they're wonderful, all these lovely little chaps. I think they're fabulous little characters and they're all just cut out from the Bonanza paper. So let's get started and I'll show you how I'm making them. Let me get rid of them all. They're wonderful. Let's scatter them over there. Okay, we're choosing some um, of the people from these wonderful papers. Here's the Bonanza suite, which has papers like this, and it has some lovely uh, the Bonanza Buddies stamp set, although I haven't used this other than for the Happy Birthday um, text this time. But there's lots of lovely things I can use for another card and another day. Um, but there's the happy birthday and I've chosen from amongst here, I've chosen the lion, I've also chosen the lovely toucan and for today's I'm going to choose the koalas which I think are fabulous so let's get going with the koalas. So here we go, I've cut one out already, one little koala waving at you and here's the other and I'm just going to spend a little bit of time cutting this one out with you. I want to show you a couple of things. Um, lots and lots of people use ordinary scissors and there's nothing wrong with an ordinary pair of scissors for an ordinary job. So when you're cutting a bit of ribbon or something like that there's nothing wrong with them. Um, but most ordinary scissors have quite a wide piece here, the blade width, okay? Not the length of the blade, but the width of the blade. Now these are the stamping up snips and they cost less than £10 and I seriously have never found as good a pair of scissors ever, anywhere. Um, they are incredibly narrow across the width of the blade. In fact they're so narrow it's almost impossible to get it lined up for you so you can actually see the width of the blade because <laughs> it is so narrow. There you go, can you see it against my finger? Look how narrow that is. Um, and when you put it up right next to another blade, and these aren't a particularly wide blade pair, so they're just a fairly average standard pair, look at the difference. And the difference means you can corner, a bit like um, Lewis Hamilton in the Grand Prix. You can zoom around the corners rather better. And what I'm going to suggest you do when you cut is that you keep your cutting hand nice and firmly tucked into your body. I tend to tuck my elbow into my waist and I hold this arm nice and steady. And then I'm going to bring this up. Now it's not too easy for me because I've got to get it under the camera and see what I can do. I'm doing at the same time. So please <laughs> Forgive me if I cut a few corners, um, but I want just to show you that we're going to keep this arm nice and steady that's holding the scissors and we're going to move this hand around that's holding the paper. So this one's doing the cornering and this one's doing the, the acceleration and the control. So one's accelerating and controlling the snip and one is cutting out the image. Okay, so let's just go in from a distance. And what I want to do is I want to be just outside of the area. I don't want to be right on the edge of the image. I just want to be on the outside. And I'm going to focus not on what I'm cutting, but on the image itself. And I'm going to try and move and glide around it. So I want to get rid of that one little spitty spot. So I'm going to go right in there. I'm going to come around the edge. Okay, and this is where the cornering works. Watch what happens. I'm tucked in underneath his armpit and I can turn that without it tearing the paper. A wider blade would start to tear that paper. Okay, in I go. I can turn it. And I can turn it. And I can feel myself doing what I do when I'm cutting is I'm concentrating and it means I hold my breath <laughs> so I'm gonna say now ah, <laughs> relax chill relax breathe because if I'm not careful I'm going to sound like a heavy breather on you in a minute because I'm going to have been keeping it up myself all tight 
and then suddenly I'm gonna go <gasps> and breathe okay now then can you see what I'm trying to do and that is keep the paper within the blades I'm not cutting right to the very very end I'm just keeping the paper within this middle section of the blades and that way you get a nice smooth image let's hope there you go not bad not bad for doing it right underneath the camera and that's what's called fussy or fuzzy cutting. Um, in my era, it used to be called fuzzy cutting with a Z, fuzzy, because it came from the um, tailoring world where you used to cut out the uh, patterns for, let's say, a shirt or a blouse or a dress. And you used to allow a seam allowance. And that allowance, that little edge around, was called the fuzzy cut, which meant you just cut roughly, fuzzily, around the edge to allow for the seam to be sewn um, and for some reason in the time that I've been crafting it has actually changed from fuzzy cut to people calling it fussy cutting so I'm not sure what the real term is but um, whatever you want to call it that's what we're doing okay now I'm going to take myself a piece of just ordinary white card and because it's a little tiny card, I don't need one of the thick card stocks, so I can just use the ordinary standard Whisper White. And it's 14 centimetres by 7. And then I folded it in half. OK, so I scored it at 7, so it's 7 by 7 centimetres. And the first thing I'm going to do, I've got sequins everywhere. <laughs> It looked very pretty at the beginning, it's now annoying me. Okay, I'm going to bring in the Memento ink and I'm using the Happy Birthday from the stamp set and I'm going to just stick it in the corner. Okay, there we go, Happy Birthday. It's a lovely piece of text, this. It's kind of informal, rather fun. And I'm going to stick down the chap. Let's just get the end of the glue off which I've left the top off which was very naughty me you should keep the top on really um, and it tends to just dry out of touch but there we are it's up and running again there we are here he goes I'm going to pop him at the side with his balloons that we've just cut out and I'm just going to leave this this edge a little bit loose because I want the two of them to sort of link arms and look as if they're having fun together rather than just standing side by side so I'm going to link this one in beside him there we go they look more like mates with their arms around each other now don't they look at that and all I'm going to do is put some oops some small dots of glue that was rather a larger one and I'm going to put them in threes one two three perhaps just one at the top there and one there okay and I'm going to just put one oops two and shall we have a tiny one? Let's see if I can find a little yellow one. I'm trying to put them in little mixed mixed colour groups. So let's put one there, two there, and let's find a little orange one to go with that lot. And that's the lovely thing about these um, sequins. And I'm going to tell you a secret. These sequins are free. I didn't pay for these sequins. Ha ha ha. Isn't that wonderful? Didn't pay for them at all. And no, I didn't go out and sh do, do a bank robbery or anything like that. I didn't steal them from another, another uh, demonstrator. None of that. I just got them free because it's that time of the year. There we go. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that cute? And doesn't he go beautifully with his mates as if we're having a great party? There we go. And the reason I got them free is this um, time of the year is celebration. And I spent £45 in the catalogue, which means I get to choose a free gift. And my free gift was these two lovely threads, which have both got beautiful glittery pieces of metallic in them. And this wonderful, big, huge pile of sequins. And both, all three of those things, I get f totally free just because I spent £45. So why don't you go to jillyhunt.com, spend £45, you never know, 
maybe get yourself a pair of snips for £10 worth of that. And there you go. That would way you also would be able to make these. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye.